Alright, so in this video I want to tell you a funny story how I managed to break production for my app and make about 12,000 people quite unhappy for about an hour. I want to share with you the mistakes that I made and the lessons I learned and how it all went down in a bit of a funny way. So what really happened? If you don't know, on my channel I've been building this app called One Menu for a long time. And it's mostly well known for being a window manager on the Mac. And yes, Apple is coming out with their own window manager and so many people are asking me, oh my god Marco, what are you gonna do? But that's not the point of this video. The point of the video is that this is a utility app that most people use from the point they log into their computer to the point that they log out. And as such, it has to be very, very stable. It was very worrying for me when I had this major production incident. So let me tell you what happened. One sunny day, I was really excited to push out a new update for my window manager that was fixing some minor bugs that people on Discord pointed out. And you know, the dream of anyone who has any kind of automatic deployments set up is to be able to work from the bench in the park push an update and just be at peace. And this is what I tried to do. But I wasn't at peace because the moment I pushed this update, I started getting worrying messages on Discord that the app is somehow going into a crash loop. And you know, I looked at my menu bar and there it was, the app was actually restarting all the time. And funny coincidence, this actually happened about the same time that the whole CrowdStrike drama was happening. You know, that little incident when the Windows machine in your supermarket was restarting all the time? So it got me worried, like what is happening with my app? Is it a security issue? And more importantly, I couldn't think of a way that my proverbial small change could cause such a big dramatic effect for everybody who's using the app, not just people who are using the window manager, but seemingly everybody. And I looked at my Cloudflare dashboard and I saw this massive spike and I was like, oh my God, what the hell is going on? What could I possibly do in the code that can cause such a massive effect? And then I started digging and this is where I found the most unlikely culprit. And in this video, I want to give you a little bit of the behind the scenes on how this part of the app works and also what lessons I learned. The issue lied in the auto update system, which of course I rolled my own. Maybe that was a mistake, but maybe it wasn't. We can, we can debate that later. But for now, just to illustrate what happened, one menu actually polls periodically an API endpoint where it sends its current version. And then in the response, it can either get a 404 indicating, hey, there are no new versions that you need to install, or it gets a URL from which it can download the new version of the app. And so one menu will actually try to replace itself with a new version whenever it's available. So far, so good. However, it turns out in the previous update to the app, I was changing something to do with file downloads. And I mistakenly changed one of the URLs so that when one menu downloads the new version, it's trying to replace itself not with a downloaded file, but with the folder that the file was downloaded to. And of course that didn't work. So what happened is one menu would start, it would pull for the new version and the new file was downloaded, but the replacing process failed. And so one menu would try this over and over and over again and it was causing mayhem because number one, it was causing so much bandwidth to be used for file downloads, but also people were experiencing this really unstable behavior from an app that is supposedly very, very stable. And you know, to my defense, I never had a production issue like this before. And a lot of people have come to love one menu because of that. But then the mistake that I made is that I rolled my own auto update system. However, the fact that I did roll my own allowed me to fix the problem more efficiently. So what I did is for all users who are in version 2.8.0, I hard coded that this version should never get any updates whatsoever for the rest of time because it will fail to update and will keep crashing unfortunately. And then for the users who were very worried about the state of one menu, I made a dev stream right away to explain what happened. And then immediately the same day, I pushed an update to the website where you can actually download a working version that has no issues with auto updating itself whatsoever. So my question to you in the audience is, how would you write an integration test for this? Because the fundamental feature of the auto update system is that the app, first of all, stops itself, removes itself from the hard drive and replaces itself with a new file. So it's really hard to sort of inspect the process. It would have to be some sort of an external test runner that runs the app and then mocks the API endpoint. So I'm in the process of thinking about that. And when I come up with a solution, I will make sure to post it on Discord. So if you want to stay up to date with what I'm doing with One Menu, make sure to check it out. But in the meantime, there is good news for all of you who've never tried One Menu before. The new version has so many new features. It actually comes with clipboard history now and full customizability of all window manager areas. And it's all for free. So just check it out. There is a link in the description. I hope you found this video entertaining as much as I found it entertaining to fix that bug in the middle of the afternoon while everybody on Discord was screaming at 
me how one menu doesn't work anymore. So if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And remember, always test in production.